So maybe your area has some new credits or grants for a cold climate heat pump. And you're wondering, can this actually work in the type of cold we're having right now? The polar vortex that they call it, uh, that's probably over half of North America. And um, instead of me going over a bunch of the numbers, although I can do that as well, I'd rather just show you. So let's take a look. Uh, here's this morning and uh, the temperature is at minus 12 and dropping. Now this is Celsius, so minus 12, it dropped to about minus 14 shortly after, is between six and 10 Fahrenheit. So it's pretty cold. With the wind chill, uh, when you add the wind in, uh, it felt like minus 27 Celsius, which is minus 16 Fahrenheit. So we're talking pretty cold temperatures. And I can show you that the heat pump is working pretty good. It's not icing over and uh, it's doing what it should. Uh, my particular unit is a Napoleon NS18, it's called. Now that's a Canadian made heat pump. Uh, they also make ones very similar uh, around the globe. Uh, and so it's one of the newer ones. So when you're looking at heat pumps, you wanna look that they are called a cold climate heat pump. Uh, they've been out for a number of years now and not the old ones that just look like your, your old air conditioner units. So I'm gonna show you inside here as well that the vent temperature coming out uh, was 36 degrees Celsius, which is 97 Fahrenheit which is great. So it's heating the house, no problem. Um, what you're gonna notice though, as the temperature drops, is it probably is gonna take a little bit longer to heat your house. And a heat pump normally would take longer than a furnace. A gas furnace turns on, whether you have a single dual stage, uh, and it, it heats the air really fast uh, and gets to that set point of your thermostat and shuts off. Your heat pump is gonna take longer because it slowly ramps up and the air is not quite as hot as your gas furnace. Uh, the heat exchanger really pumps that hot air out versus the heat pump is heating an A coil, excuse me, in my furnace, um, cause I have the option to still switch to gas. So I'm gonna so show you my thermometer, sorry, my thermostat right now. And on there, you can set the point at which you want your heat pump to switch over if you have a secondary fuel system. And that fuel system could be gas, could be propane, could be resistive electric heating, which is not as fuel efficient, but if you're, the goal is to get rid of gas in your home, uh, that might be something you wanna look at. So I converted my older furnace. Furnace fan was still good on it. HVAC company upgraded my coil, and that's what the heat pump uses to bring uh, warm air throughout your, throughout your home. That same coil, the A coil that they put in the furnaces, uh, is what then the heat pump runs the opposite direction in the summertime, and that's what is used to cool your home in the summertime. So it's basically when you buy a heat pump, you're buying not only a furnace and an air conditioner all in one. Efficiency in the cold. So as the temperature drops, uh, so did the dew point today. And what does that have to do with anything? Well. When it was colder this morning, uh, the heat pump actually didn't have to go through a defrost cycle even after running for an hour. Whereas a couple days ago when it was hovering around the freezing point, zero Celsius or around 32 Fahrenheit, the, the dew point is a lot higher, which means that's when moisture in the air as a vapor starts, the, it can't hold anymore and it starts to settle on surfaces. And so when that coil behind your heat pump, you got the whole, the whole coil, it'll frost up and sometimes it'll frost up quite bad within about you know 35 40 minutes the heat pump senses this they have sensors on there and it has to go in a defrost cycle and, and uh for about you know a few minutes then it'll heat up and melt that ice off of there before it can go back into heat mode so i find that actually when it's a little more mild outside it goes into to the defrost cycle more often yet when it's kind of more extreme cold Arctic air, uh, you have these high pressure systems and it's nice clear sunny day that it's actually not going into the defrost cycle uh, because it's not icing up. And that relates to the deep dew point. So that's a little bit of uh, science for you. Um, other channels can explain that better than I can. But I just wanted to give you an overview of uh, my experience and the, the really cold temperatures so far here in Canada. 
I'm in southern Ontario and so far it's been working fine. I've had it installed since uh, November of this year, so going on uh, into my fourth month now. Alright, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.